Hey, Shalom, Makim, Obela Kana, back at you with the Shu. Start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who well and teach well and lead Israel by grace after this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect. Teaching and preaching this truth and its righteousness, purity, and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh, Shai, whom the world only called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom, Makim. Okay? All right. Alright, I'm just making a quick hit through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shai. Alright, we, 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 you know, we the brotherhood, we just got to get tighter. Alright, we have to get tighter among each other, especially with ourselves. Okay? Alright. We have to uh, be ready to forsake. Well, not even be ready, stay ready to forsake. Okay? Uh, basically, everything that you, you, know, you see here. Okay? Because we're about to move on to another uh, stage in life, man. We're about to move on to an everlasting life, but we have to go through, all right, the the hell that's going to, uh, Yahweh Bashim is going to bring upon the earth. So, you know, that all begins with the mind first because, you know, Esau is in, you know, Esau is under the control and the jurisdiction of Yahweh Bashim Shai. These devils are nothing, man. They are completely nothing. The Lord even said uh, that he counted the heathen as nothing, all right? So, we, we are princes of the power, but we have to be uh, tried, okay, to see what man we ought to be, all right? See what men we ought to be, okay? We can't be lukewarm in this, all right? And, all right, the Lord rather have us either cold or hot, man. So you got to be as, like, hot tamales for this truth, all right? Ultimately, okay? You know, you want to... You wanna, Please, Yahweh, Shem Yashai. Please, the Spirit. All right, you know, resist the flesh. Okay. Scriptures say what? Uh, flee the devil, and he shall. Let me see. Uh, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Let's see how to grab it real quick. Resist the devil. Jake, Jake. Mercy and folly. All right, but we don't pray for these niggas. All right. Um. All right, and it says uh, James chapter four verse seven. Let's start at verse six. But he gave it more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisteth resist, resist the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. So the Lord. He's not looking at the proud. He's not looking at the proud of our nation. Okay? I Meaning two thirds of our people are proud. Okay? He's, he's resisting them. Alright? He's only going with the, the humble. Okay? The humble of our people. Okay? And it says, verse 7, Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Resist the devil. Alright? Resist the works of Satan. All right, resist the devil. All right, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Look at these devils, fucking demonic ass jakes. Got him on camera, fools, man. Um, submit yourselves therefore to Yahweh, man. Shall resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So, you know, us being uh. uh Attuned to this truth and be focused and, and, and zoomed in on this truth. We are we are fleeing from the works of Satan, man. You know, fleeing from his crafty devices, fleeing from his his lies, his hypocrisy. Because Satan wants attention, all right. But when you ignore Satan and you get more engrafted to the spirit, your how much you on shy is going to strengthen you, all right. In the time that we're going to go through, all right, and and uh. Satan's going to uh, fall back because he see that you have Yahweh Shai on you, you know. Verse 8, draw nigh to Yahweh Bashim Shai, he will draw nigh to you, and that's in the spirit. So whatever hell that you have to, that whatever hell Yahweh Bashim Shai bestow upon you, you know, you take it cheerfully, all right, man up about it, all right, be accountable for your actions because nobody, know nobody knows you better than yourself, Right, you know yourself better than anybody else, man. 
But ultimately, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai know you more than you know yourself, man. Okay? And it says, Draw nigh to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. See? Clean your mind from the ways of this world, man. All right? You know, you you were smoking, stop that. You know, committed adultery, you stop that. Okay? Going to the barber shops, you stop that. All right? Cleanse your mind from this place, man. Okay? Grow in the spirit. And that's what it's going into. Okay? Um, I don't really intend to be, you know, intend to be the, a long lesson. Um, all right? We're going to end it with, um, Colossians. And then with Colossians 3, verse 12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as some I forgave, you also also do ye so we have to be merciful towards one another we have to be merciful towards ourselves too okay because we are accountable for our actions so we have to be strong in our minds man okay um wait hold on i have another one okay we're going to close out with this all right, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For Yahweh, all right, have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. And it's not going into, that love is not going into, a, you know, oh, we can love everybody. No, this love is going into loving, loving, keeping the commandments of Yahweh Shai, you know, loving the brotherhood, you know, strengthening the mindsets. With this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, man. You know, verse eight. Be thou therefore. It says, "What be not? Excuse me. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be, but be thou partakers of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So, we gotta put on that spirit of power, man. You know." So we ain't not supposed to be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. Whether whether we face with uh face with uh intimate death, okay, we have to be strong, you know, to just go through it. So a Lord willing this lesson was that if I wanted anybody give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash, double honors and respect, coaches of apostles and elders of great millstone. Who well and teach well, leader of Israel, by your example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth, and his righteousness and spirit and sincerity, and waiting on your shine whom the world and you call Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom Makim, stay strong in the spirit, most out here with the salvation of your shot. Shalom, stay strong, keep the faith of your most soul. Shalom and power. Shalom.